Now that we have our preferences set up inside of Reason, let's talk more about Reason. When you first launch Reason with an empty rack, you have the MIDI end device at the top of the rack and the sequencer at the bottom. Now let's create some instruments. You can do this two ways. You can click on Create to get a drop down list of all the available instruments, mixers, and effects located inside of Reason, or you can simply right click on a blank space on the rack to get the drop down list. Let's first create the 14 2 mixer. And now, what we're going to do, since we launched Logic first, let's go launch Reason because Reason is going to be our rewire slave application. Okay, you can see that Reason has launched. And if we zoom in and take a closer look, you can see that it says rewire slave mode right here in the top left hand corner. Now, what we're going to do is go ahead and open up a new Reason project, or if you wanted, you could create something from scratch. Let's just go open up the project that DJ Everyday was working on. And it takes a little second to load. In rewire mode, it does tax your computer a little bit more, loading up those samples. Okay, here we go. We've got a track. And if we just move this off to the side, let's come back over here to Logic. And I'm actually going to double click either on 7 or 8 to bring up our mixer. And if we scroll down, now you can see these channels are going to have reason come through. Let's go ahead and press our space bar or click on play. Okay, you can hear the audio from Reason being routed into Logic. Let's go ahead and pan our channels if we want true stereo. We can record our MIDI in real time to the sequencer. We must first select the subtractor, place the playhead at the desired location, which ours is already there, which is count one on measure one. And since we already have some beats, we don't need to use the click track. But for training purposes, I'm going to go to the mixer and click solo on the subtractor channel, which is channel three, and we're going to use the click track to record our MIDI. Okay, I'm going to highlight the record button and then come over to the click and enable the click track. So now when I hit play, we will start recording. The Dr. X Loop Player is an instrument that will play loops from the Reason Factory Sound Bank or loops that you create using Recycle, which is another program used for creating loops that is made by Propeller Heads, the manufacturer of Reason. When we first launch the Dr. X, we need to load a loop. Let's click on Browse Loop, indicated by the folder icon. Let's go to the Reason Factory Sound Bank. And as you can see, we have Dr. X Drum Loops, Dr. X Instrument Loops, and Dr. X Percussion Loops. Let's first try Dr. X Drum Loops. Let's go to the Glitch folder, and let's try Mangle Beat 85. We can preview the loop by clicking on Preview. Let's copy that loop to the sequencer. We would click the Dr. X in the sequencer, click on the Dr. X, then edit, copy loop to track. Okay, let's take a look and listen.